Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Uh, today is Tuesday and um, we're just kind of uh, in this now. So I uh, hope everyone is uh, getting in a routine and kind of uh, getting their life kind of to a schedule, a rhythm. Um, yesterday was just rainy here so any little ray of sun I'm going to take it and just sit in the backyard and do a television show just like everyone should do. Uh, I just want to be here for you guys and because uh, you've always been there for me, so I appreciate it, guys. Um, we have a fun show tonight. He has a movie called The Quarry. It's out on demand on Friday. Michael Shannon is here, the very fun, the very odd Michael Shannon. He's great tonight. Oh, my gosh. Uh, also, my friend J.J. Watt is on the show as well, and I'm going to play Know Your Bro with his brothers. Some trivia, some family trivia about his brothers who are all playing in the NFL. Hey, pretty good family. Huh? That's pretty awesome. And then to close it out, one of my uh, super favorites. Do you remember Shomo's Hopped Our Fence ones? Rita Ora is on the show tonight. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'll be talking, well, I won't be talking to Rita. She'll be performing a new song off her upcoming album. Uh, I should say, Michael Shannon's charity is earthday.org. This is Feeding America is JJ Watt. COVID-19ResponseFund.org is Rita Ora. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to make you laugh and let's uh, have a good show. It's time for the monologue. All right, welcome to The Tonight Show. I'm Jimmy Fallon. Well, guys, earlier today, former President Obama endorsed Joe Biden for president. Obama said he knew Biden was the right candidate once he was absolutely sure Michelle wasn't running. You can tell the endorsement meant a lot to Biden right after he was like, I know you guys really love me because I only had to ask every day for two years. I like how Obama endorsed Biden now. That's like waiting until there's one second left in the Super Bowl and then saying, okay, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Okay, just for the record. This isn't good. Healthy Choice recalled over 130,000 pounds of frozen chicken meals after customers found small rocks mixed in. Americans were like, we make one healthy choice in five weeks and this is what happens? We're eating rocks? Let me tell you guys something. With this toilet paper shortage, this is not a good time to have rocks in your system. People who ate healthy choice meals filled with rocks knew something was up when their toilet looked like a fish tank. <laughs> burger King just introduced a new sandwich called the Roasted Garlic King, which is a burger with a thick garlic sauce. Yeah, Burger King said if this doesn't keep people six feet away, nothing will. During quarantine, many Americans are watching old hit TV series like The Wire and Breaking Bad. Mostly to finally shut up that annoying friend who was always like, Wait, well, you've never seen The Wire? Oh, bro. you never seen The Wire? Oh, bro. The Wire? you never seen it? Not the third episode? Or the second one? Or the first one? The Wire? I read that many brides-to-be are now having virtual bachelorette parties. It starts with some lemon drop shots and ends with virtually everyone crying in the bathroom. That's right, brides-to-be are having virtual bachelorette parties. It's a lot of fun right up until your friend Debbie says something vaguely racist to the virtual limo driver. And finally, here's an update on a story we've been following since it broke. A 93-year-old Pennsylvania woman who went viral with her sign that said, I need more beer, received 150 beers from Coors Light. After getting the Coors Light, the woman held up a new sign that said, I said I need beer, not water. <laughs> it was a nice moment until an hour later when she held up a sign that said, out of beer again. Hey, you got a problem there, pal. Uh, we, uh, that's our monologue right there. Guys, we had a lot of fun with hashtag Ask the Fallons, where you guys are sending questions that you'd like uh, me to ask my wife or my kids. And uh, so uh, tonight I'm going to ask a question from you guys to my wife, who's very, who's also uh, operating my camera and really producing <laughs> this my whole show. I love you. And uh, she also turns the tables and asks me a question in this uh, part of Ask the Fallons. Enjoy. 
here we go. This is Ask the Fallons. Hashtag Ask the Fallons. I've said it like I'm angry. <laughs> I think you might be. I'm not <laughs> angry. Whose turn it is? No. To be interviewed. <laughs> All right, this one is for Matt. What? Yusu Diaz. J U S O U Z Diaz. And Jimmy, how did you propose to Nancy? Well, we told the story, I believe. Well, we definitely have, but. I had the ring ready to go. Weirdly, I had the ring from Neil Lane. Oh, sorry, you're not even on the camera. <laughs> Neil Lane, who's now bachelor, bachelor famous. Um, I got the ring. I remember I called your dad for permission. I asked him, he said yes. Um, and I asked your brother as well. Aww, or, yeah, or, or told him maybe, informed him that I talked to your dad. <laughs> Why would I ask your brother? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I might have. Um, but your brother was cool with the tail. And um, then what happened was you messed everything up for me. Yes. You get to the door and you go, I have a surprise for you. And I go, hope it doesn't mess with my surprise, which was the big thing. I got the ring. I got the, so you go, I got a, um, reservations at Per Se, this amazing restaurant in New York. And I go, oh my gosh, I was dying to go to Per Se. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh my gosh, this is a big deal. I really do have to go to Per Se. But I don't want to get engaged at the restaurant. I never wanted to get, I was going to get engaged in like Gramercy Park or something that will just always be around. Something classic. I didn't want to go to a restaurant because what if in 30 years the restaurant changes hands. Now it's a laser tag place. Now it's like kids. This is where your mom and I got engaged at the laser tag house. If they do have laser tag in the future. Anyway, so I go, I'm, I'll do it after dinner. I didn't mention it to you. So we went to dinner. It was amazing dinner, right? Yeah. Cut to, long, long cut to, I'm not kidding, 14 courses later. And then we got home and your brother texted or called and said like, did you do it, man? What's up? And I go, no, man, I just, just our dinner was like four hours or something. He goes, you gotta do it. Just go to uh, Molly's or something and do it. God, yes, for which we love Molly's. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, all right, maybe I'll, I'll go to Molly's. Hold on. And I was in the bathroom. I go, uh, honey, do you want to go out and have one more drink? And you go, are you, are you really? Are you serious? And I will. You're like, I'm ready to like watch TV and like go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I, that's what we we did. And then it wasn't for like it was probably three months later, six months later? I, it was I think longer than your parents and my parents wanted, but of course yeah. I wasn't thinking it was I don't know. It was like probably yeah, you, yeah, it was probably yeah, no, you didn't know. So it was I probably, just knew we were gonna be together. Like it wasn't like we gotta get married or not get married. Anyways, like, I think I want to say four months later, I was just trying to find the right place to do it. I know, I know, I know, but I'm very, like, particular. I got to make sure it's the right spot. This is going to feed into my question. Oh. <laughs> so we get to, your family has a summer home in uh, New Hampshire, in Wolfboro, New Hampshire, which we love. Lake Winnipesaukee, and we're, uh, I go to the dock with you, sunset. Mm -hmm. I go, honey, do you want to have a cocktail, maybe, sunset? So we get out, I played Harry Nelson, mm -hmm. and I said... Okay, in my head, don't cry. Let her cry first if someone's gonna cry. <laughs> because, <laughs> well, because I hyped it up in my head, I get very emotional. I'm an Irish, very emotional person. So, as soon as I even remotely pulled the ring out of my pocket, <laughs> I, start, I start crying. Yeah. And I get down on one knee and I'm like shaking. I'm like, wah, wah, wah. And my voice is like quivering. I'm getting my, looks like I'm having a heart attack. And it's like, are you okay, dude? Are you gonna be all right? And then I just said, hey, will you marry me? And you said, yes. And then the whole family started cheering from inside the house. Oh, they were all watching yeah. us. And somewhere my brother has this on tape, but he said he wouldn't give it to us for like 20 years. So we're oh, for real? 15 into that. <laughs> You're gonna get it like, few, yeah, like five or, five or seven years now. Wow, I didn't know he taped it. Yeah. All right, let's switch positions. Then you ask the question. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Here we go. Now this is you're gonna ask me a question. Well, I was gonna do interview questions, so I just came up with a few. But um, my first one was gonna be this easy one, mm -hmm. and it's easy for a Virgo, especially. I was gonna ask you what only three of your greatest pet peeves are. <laughs> only three. That's more the challenge than answering this question. <laughs> I don't even know if I have pet peeves. Oh, really? <laughs> 
What? Oh gosh. Well, I don't like soft cheese. No. Mm -mm. So if no, someone then almost anyone even eating soft cheese is sort of repellent to you, slightly. No, no, no. I, I totally am fine with everyone doing what they want, glopping the stuff on the thing and glopping, glopping it in their and mouth. Glopping. Yeah, that's just no judgment though at all. <laughs> okay, next. All right. That's mm -hmm. one. That's not yeah. bad. That's kind of understandable. Mm -hmm. I think. All right. I can't think of any other pet peeves right you now. You have so many, but I will. I will just let that one ride. So, who has been someone incredibly influential in your life? I guess there's so many people, but I don't know. Lee, Lauren. Mm -hmm. I like those guys. I don't know. I call them. I. I, I mean, Lauren Michaels has kind of seen. He's seen it all, but he's seen me through the beginning of my career, through now. You've worked with him since you were 20. 23 yeah. is when I got Siren Live. I'm 45 now, so it's 22 years of working together. Um, and he's got great advice about everything. And he's great anecdotal advice, too. Yeah, and he's, but even like anything, if I'm renting a car, I would call Lauren. Yeah. He's like, hey, I, I don't know what to do. I'm renting a car. He's like, oh, you want something quiet? And not too flashy. <laughs> Get a Lexus. Get black. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but then, and then, and then he gets a he gets a new he's getting a new car and he goes, which one do you think I should get the silver <laughs> or the? I go, really James Bond? You want to drive around in a silver car so everyone knows where you he's are? Kind of James Bondy. And he's like, I know, I know. It's his own advice. Yeah. But there's been so many people. Yeah. He's Lauren's been great. My grandparents were really great mm -hmm. to me. My grandma and my grandpa, that was like, I used to go over there after school every single day and I used to really hung out with them. They really helped raise me. And by over there, you mean? They lived in um, <laughs> my backyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cute little house. They lived in it. Behind your cute little house. Up they, in Saugerties, New York. They lived in our, yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even like a different address. No, no. Is it a weird? No, I love it. They, my grandparents lived in our backyard, in a house, a cottage. Yeah. So they used to babysit me and I used to hang out with them after school and stuff. Yep, you used to cook with your grandma. I used to cook with my grandma all the time, hang out and read cookbooks. Go driving with your grandpa? I would go driving with them. And they would, you know, they would drink and drive. Oh, well that's where probably it is. Different times. Different times. But they never told me. They, but they would have like a thermos and then I remember once. <laughs> you thought it was, yeah, she tried to try it. Yeah, I tried to try it. I, I go. <laughs> It's go, a dead giveaway. Yeah, I go, Cut, let me have a sip of it. They go, no, 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 it's just orange juice. I go, <laughs> you guys, won't like it. Why are you guys drinking orange juice? It's the afternoon. It's like four in the afternoon. Like, oh, we're just going for a drive, right? Just <laughs> They wouldn't give me a sip, but I was like, ah, you guys are taking a little nip of screwdriver. Yep. With your grandkid in the car. <laughs> Probably no seatbelts. <laughs> All right, that's All right. that's enough for asking me questions now. Back to uh, the show that everyone wants to watch. Uh <laughs>